Hi guys, we're here again to talk about personal narrative writing. I hope you remember, we talked about this um, several weeks ago during virtual learning. And I wanted to revisit this because we we're going to write our papers soon. In personal narrative writing, you're sharing a true story about something that you experienced. Sequence of events that unfold using transition words, meaning the events happen in order. And when we write, we say things like then and next. Personal narrative has dialogue. That means talking, description, and sensory details, which helps the reader understand what's going on in the story. It has a clear beginning, middle, and end. It includes the author's thoughts and feelings. It's a major part of the story. It's a clear setting described in detail. Now, we're going to be working on our personal narratives. Maybe you remember a file that you worked on looks similar to this. We discussed a little girl who was going to write her personal narrative, and these were her ideas she came up with. Remember that the prompt was to write about a goal you met or something that you achieved in the last year. Explain why you set out to do this and tell the story of working towards it and achieving it. She came up with these ideas of things that she might write about. Getting a B in math. Flipping a bottle 20 times in a row. Library Summer Reading Challenge. Player of the Month for the soccer team. Saving up $50 for a video game. This little girl decided to write her personal narrative about her library summer reading challenge. Once she decided on her topic, she had to make a plan. That's where we are. Making the plan. Let's look at her plan. When we write a personal narrative, it has to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So, she made some just quick notes about her story and her experience. My mom took me to the library. I browsed through the books. I could hear the clock ticking, it was so quiet. And she drew a picture to help remind herself of her experience. In the middle, she has three pictures. She has a picture of the prizes, a picture of a book called Wonder, and a picture of her reading. And then she wrote down several of the events that would happen in the middle of her narrative. The children's librarian came over. She told us about the summer reading challenge. She gave me the prize chart. I decided on a pizza coupon and book. She helped me pick out the book Wonder. It took me forever to finish the book. I read six more books. This is just a brief list of the things she wants to write about. And when she actually writes her story, she's going to make it with much richer sentences and include dialogue and details. I met my goal of 1,000 minutes plus 200. We went the last day and got my prizes pizza coupon and Augie and me. Dad and I went to get pizza with the coupon. This is what happened at the end of her story. And she drew a picture of the end. This is Dad with, her, with the pizza and her with her books. We are going to be writing about a goal that you met or something you achieved in the last year. You already completed a chart in which you decided what you were going to write about. And let's see, I'm going to show you what that chart looks like if I can find it. You filled in a chart, sorry, that looks like this. My topic ideas. And I asked you to color the one that was your favorite yellow. 
So you should have a topic already in your brain that you're going to write about. Your homework is to re recall that topic, or if you decided you didn't like it, decide on a new one. And we are going to do a beginning, a middle, and an end like this. We are going to write some quick notes about what happened in the beginning of our goal we wanted to meet, what happened in the middle, and what happened in the end. Now, if you're a virtual student, you don't have this paper. You are going to have to write this in your spiral notebook. You just need to label it beginning write down two or three things that happened at the beginning of what you were trying to do like for example if your goal that you met was to learn to ride a bike the beginning you may say things like i saw my friends riding the neighborhood and i was sad because i couldn't ride with them so i decided to learn to ride my bike and you would draw a picture of you with your bike in the middle section, you're going to need to write down all the things that happen in the middle of you learning to ride your bike. You may write about how you put on your helmet and you put on your elbow pads and knee pads because you knew you were going to fall down. And your dad pushed you on your bike up and down the sidewalk and you were, didn't want him to let go. And one time he pushed you and let go, you rode for a couple seconds and fell down. These are the types of things you need to include in your planning. You don't need all the details. You don't need the dialogue. We're just planning what we're going to say. And then you're going to plan the end. What happened at the end of your goal? Hopefully, if you're still riding about your bike, you will have a picture of you riding your bike. And the end would be, I did it. I rode my bike all by myself without the training wheels and I didn't fall down. Now, I'm not sure what your topic is, but your homework is to restate your topic and make a planning sheet that includes beginning, middle, and end. Now, for you virtual students, I'm going to show you this form, hopefully a little more clearly, so that you can reproduce it in your notebook. You just need to write it somewhat like this. You don't need to draw boxes. You just need to have a section that says beginning with three or four bullet items that you are going to write about. Middle with several bullet items you're going to include in the middle and end with two to three bullet items you're going to write about in the end. Please send me a message if you do not understand.